leader. So what can the leader do? They can play to the introvert's strengths. They can know that um, an agenda is important to have for a meeting, even if it's a short agenda. Introverts, as I mentioned, like to prepare. And so if they know what's coming up, they will tell you to a fault. If I know what we're going to be addressing, I can think about it. I can think about what my contribution is. And that's really helpful. Okay. If you have things you want me to look at ahead of time, this is good, what they call meeting hygiene. I learned that when I was out in Silicon Valley doing this research, I kept saying meeting hygiene. It's like, what, what? Um, but no, it's true. It's like what we know about how do you run a good meeting? You have an agenda, you prepare them, you can send it to people, not the second before. You give them a little time to, to think about the proposal. Um, and then when you get in the meeting, um, you make sure you have some practices in place that, and if you've got to take a meet, read a meeting book or, you know, or, or uh, take a meeting course, there's a lot of, it's all proven about how you can engage people. And now on Zoom, there's lots of ways to chat. You know, introverts right. like to do that. Um, make sure you hear from everybody in the room. Go around, do a you know a structured thing. Let's just hear where you are on this. You know, red light, green light, why? You know, have some little techniques that you can bring in so people don't feel threatened. Yeah.